Hi. Hey, Trail Kreitzer at Go Hunt. Uh, here in our little gear room at the Go Hunt office. Uh, I have a brand new product for us in the gear shop. If you've been checking out our shop and you're looking at our archery selection, you'll notice that we've gotten uh, into carrying a lot of tools that can help you tune and do a lot of work on your bow. We'll also be generating a bunch of content on how to work on your bow. Personally, it's always been my opinion that if you can do the work on your own bow, you're gonna know that equipment much more uh, effectively and you're actually gonna be more effective in the field with it because you know the ins and outs of it. There's nothing like the personal satisfaction that you feel from doing all your own work on your bow and then going into the field and, and hunting and being successful with it. You know, it's a great time of the year, springtime. We're all kind of getting our bows back out and you know starting to shoot we're preparing for some of these summer 3d archery shoots like the tack or you know the mountain archery fest we've got a bunch of them locally that we're going to try to get to part of the process in tuning your own equipment two of the most critical things uh, is cam timing and then also draw length and in order to do both effectively you need a draw board uh, so I've got a brand new product, which I said here is this Last Chance Archery Draw Board. This Last Chance Archery Draw Board is really easy to install. Uh, you've got two pieces. You've got the actual crank itself, and then you have the end piece that is gonna hold your bow on the other end. Uh, when you get your Last Chance Archery Bow Press, uh, it's got these end caps in it, which is just this rubber end cap. These are really easy to remove. You're just gonna pop that out. And then the actual uh, draw board part of it just slides in. So it's a very easy um, piece of equipment to install. You can see how easy that slides in. Anyway, so you've got two pieces, the one that goes here on this end. You obviously have the other one that goes in at the other end, which is gonna hold your bow. You have the cord in the middle, which runs out from this winch, which is you're gonna use to draw the bow. And you've got a couple other parts and pieces that make this whole thing work. You've got a rubber band, obviously, which you're gonna use to uh, wrap around the front of your riser, which is gonna keep your bow secure to the front part here. The part you're actually gonna hook up to the D-loop is a two-part piece, uh, which it's a fail-safe uh, option, which is gonna allow your bow, should something happen to your D-loop, it's not gonna dry fire. So you have the hook here that you're gonna run through your D-loop, and then you have the secondary backup piece, which is this cord that you're gonna wrap around your string and then just hook it back up and over uh, the hook itself. Once you've got that all hooked up, um, it's a simple process. You're just going to start to crank that and it works just like a boat winch. So as you crank that back, you can see my bow starting to draw. So when you're looking at your cam timing uh, on my Matthews V3 here, what you're looking for is these two draw stops, which you can see right here on each cam. As these wrap around, you want these draw stops to contact your cable here at the same time as those wrap around. So that's what you're looking for on uh, cam timing. So as I roll these over, maybe Neville can zoom in and get a shot of that. So here they come, you can see those two draw stops. And what you're trying to do, like I said, is make sure that those are contacting at the exact same time. And that's going to yield an arrow that comes out of the bow smoothly and in a straight line. So you want those to be perfectly timed. So as I wrap those around, I'm watching the gap between the two. And I'm just slowly kind of checking to see uh, that spacing. And then as you wrap that around, you'll actually feel it hit. I did this at my press at home uh, before I got here. I felt like uh, my cam timing was pretty good. And as I check this right here, I can see that they're pretty much dead nuts wrapping around at the exact same time. Both of those draw uh, cam stops are hitting that cable at the exact same time, which is kind of what I thought based on, you know, the tuning I'd done, I'd paper tuned that. I also shot some bare shafts and everything seemed good to go. But this is a great option to just double check and check your cam timing. It can be really tough to do on your own. So like if you're doing it in a mirror and you're trying to watch, uh, it can be really hard to tell uh, if those are hitting at the exact same time. Yep, yep. So those look great. Um, the other thing that you can do with this draw board is you can check your draw length. In my opinion, uh, draw length, proper draw length, uh, is the most critical thing to you is in terms of accuracy. So if your draw length is off, it can cause some major issues with your aim. You know, if your draw length's too long, you may get these long swooping aiming actions when you're trying to aim. If it's too short, it seems like you get these herky-jerky uh, rapid movements in your sight picture. Um, if you can get a proper draw length that works for you, it's repeatable, you can do that exact same thing every time 
you're gonna shoot uh, much better, you're gonna aim a lot better, and ultimately you're gonna have a much more accurate shot. So if you're putting together your home bow shop, which I think is a great thing to do, uh, I would highly suggest these last chance easy presses. Like I said, we have the easy press green in the gear shop, which is a great little entry level uh, bow press. It will do everything that you need it to do if you're starting to work on your own equipment. I think if you're gonna buy a press, I think this draw board is a must have in addition to the press. But if you're doing your own work, I think this is a must have. I mean, you can check things like your draw length, your cam timing. For some of the Hoyt bows that, uh, you know, the cam lean was important, you can adjust the cam lean. Uh, same with some of the bow techs. It's really just a, a nice tool to have in your kit to make sure that your bow is just properly tuned and you're ready to go out uh, into the field in the fall with full confidence. I mean, you know your bow is absolutely dialed. So once again, this is the Last Chance Archery uh, draw board. And then once again, those Last Chance Archery bow presses, you can check those out in the Go Hunt Gear Shop now.